and welcome to today's parents Halloween extravaganza! I'm Melissa, one of the editors of Today's Parent, and this is Mandy, our deputy art director and resident crafter. If there is anything in the world that can be crafted, Mandy will do it. She's just awesome like that. Hi Mandy! Hi! Okay, so today guys we're going to actually be doing three Facebook Lives. We're going to be starting right now with the basics of uh, carving your pumpkin. And then at 1 p.m. we're going to be putting pumpkins on Pinterest to test. So can you really make a glow-in-the-dark pumpkin? And what about using a cookie cutter to carve them? Does that actually work? Tune in at 1 p.m. to find out. Then finally at 3 p.m., Mandy is going to show you how to jack your lantern with the most awesome hacks ever. And we're also going to do a pumpkin carving contest where you get to decide the winner. And there is an awesome pumpkin trophy at stake, so it's pretty important that you come back at 3 p.m. and vote. Now we're going to start with some basics about carving. And if you guys have any questions, please be sure to put them in the comments below. So Mandy, let's start with what you need in your toolkit to carve. Okay. Okay, first thing you need is a big giant bowl for all those guts. Just have it ready. And if you're anything like me, you probably grab this from your kitchen drawer, a simple knife and a spoon, and it's kind of a terrible experience. I think there's a much better way. And also, this is not the safest knife to use. Yeah. That puts the gore in Halloween, and it you totally want to avoid does. that. So you need a scooper and a cutter. They're your basics. We like to use an ice cream scoop at today's parent. It takes most of the mess out. You can really get all of those seeds and guts out you're still going to touch the pumpkin guts, but it'll help. <clears throat> you need something to cut the pumpkin. Um, I think a serrated edge really gets through the flesh of the pumpkin and a point to pierce through that skin. This is a simple drywall knife that you can find at a hardware store. I definitely recommend picking it up. It's not that expensive. Now, there, th those are your two basic. You can really carve a pumpkin with these two things, but there are a lot of other things that will help. And if you're going to do it year after year, why not build your little toolkit? Tool kit? Okay, this is an awl. I have two sizes. You could just get one, but um, this is really great for making holes. These are super sharp, though. I would not have these around children. The same with any of these things. So that's a great tip because okay. I am totally lame and always use like a pencil to do the holes yes. when I'm doing a stencil, uh -huh. and it always leaves a mark, and it's a this horrible. Is much better. It breaks. And this you can find at what? A hardware store. Hardware store, craft store. This is a craft one, and this is like a hardware store one. Um, the other thing is okay. So I really wanted to debunk the carvings that you can buy everywhere. I thought, oh, these are kind of plasticky. They're not great. They're actually pretty good. There's two pieces from that kit that I keep out. The little knife, you can really cut in little details very easily. The only thing is it is kind of cheap, so it does bend a little. Um, I haven't tested how many years it'll last, but it's not that expensive. Um, so good tip, buy the tool carving kits from the grocery store. Especially store if you right. want to do like little eyes or little stars or flowers. And then it comes with this little scoop thing, which I also thought, who needs this? You have a spoon, it's fine. But you can totally get into your pumpkin with your hand. You can't do that with a big spoon. And it really cleans the walls of your pumpkin really fast and really clean. Okay, now there are just a couple other things you could get if you really wanted to try the carving of the pumpkin. What is it called? The chiseling of the pumpkin. Okay. This um, <clears throat> is a lino cutter. You can get this at a craft oh. store. Uh, it's really inexpensive too, and it comes with, I'll show you, different blades. So there's all different sizes of little bla blades, and it's uh, got a little groove, and it'll cut really um, detailed work, and it does something kind of like this. So this, you can't really quite get in, but um, <clears throat> I carved a, a full phrase on this pumpkin. A quote from Mandy's adorable daughter, Ada. She said, that's not a monster, that's my mother. Yes. <laughs> so it's a great memory. I it is. Too. It's a toss-up, you know. <laughs> okay. So I carved that with a lino cutter. That's awesome, because that, that looks pretty simple to do, and I never would have thought to get yeah. one of those. It took about two hours, the full length of the last presidential debate. That's how long that took. <laughs> okay. And then just a few other things to have, which are good, are just simple marking tools, pens, pencils. Um, if you make pencil lines and they don't come off, or sorry, not a pencil, but like a pen mark, magic eraser cleans it right up. Oh, Almost really? any permanent pen mark will come up with this. And That's this one's awesome. dirty. I've used it a lot. Uh, scissors if you're going to do little templates and tape to tape those templates out on. Okay, so the only other thing I can sh oh, yeah, yeah. show you the template. Um, <clears throat> if you want to put your a face on the pumpkin, there's a few, you can freehand it, you can do a template, and I have a favorite way to put your template on a pumpkin. All you do is take your template, print it out, whatever face you find online, you take a simple pencil, you color the back of your design, 
So and this I, is just a regular pencil? Regular pencil. You don't have to buy any fancy transfer paper or anything. You just do that. And when you put, you tape it to your pumpkin. And then you redraw over it. Ballpoint pen it works really well. You probably won't see this. It will be a subtle mark. But it will totally make a mark. Can you see that? Whoa! <laughs> anyway, that's, that's the amazing. Template. So basic computer paper, ballpoint pen, regular pencil, easiest way to put a stencil on a pumpkin. Yes. Awesome hat. Okay. So Amanda's going to start carving, but we're going to invite our special little guest, Aiden, in. Come on down, Aiden! Woo! <laughs> She's like, you guys are too loud. Aiden is going to be helping us with our <laughs> contest today. So Aiden's going to draw three different faces, and then later some of our very lucky staffers are going to uh, have to carve them. So it's quite a challenge. And this is a great tip for parents. If you are doing carving with the dangerous knives and etc., have a couple extra pumpkins around, put out markers, stickers, googly eyes, paint, and let your kids decorate. It's a bit messy, but you know, you got to embrace the mess of parenthood. Um, and then you can carve in peace and not worry about your kid being around the dangerous knives, etc. So Aiden, it is time to start drawing. Make your most challenging faces, okay? And now Mandy is going to start carving. She's going to show you some awesome hacks. Well, there's no hack for this one, but <laughs> where's the school? Okay. Just in case you haven't done it before, you probably have, but it's just carving the basic face. Um, you could use a template. Uh, you could pick a face online, but I'm just going to freehand this for the sake of time. And shameless promotion, we have a lot of awesome templates on todaysparent.com. We have a great sugar skull one if you want us to make one of those. So check it out. Comments below. We'll post a link. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make a simple face. You know, your basic triangle eyes. And maybe a mustache. Why not, right? Now you guys can totally use a template. Not all of us are as talented uh, artists as Mandy. Okay. Speaking to Aiden, we'll see how this turns out. This How's it going, Aiden? Good. Okay. So I'm my tool of choice is the little drywall cutter. You want to get in and keep your try and keep your fingers away. Try and cut away from you whenever possible. Good tip. Nobody needs right. to go to the hospital. So just that pointy end, just pierce in. Now if you guys one of my favorite snacks is roasted pumpkin seeds. Um, they're not always super kid-friendly because I think the texture, the kind of slightly bitter taste really turns kids off. So if you're looking for an awesome pumpkin seed recipe, mix a bit of maple syrup with brown sugar and cinnamon, put it in the oven, roast it. It's super delicious. The kids will gobble up this really healthy snack. Uh, so we'll also post that recipe in the comments below if you're looking for a little sweet snack to serve the kids. Mandy's pushing it in. Yeah, don't poke your partner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the mustache. See, you can see this tool actually, it does a pretty good job around turns. It's quite quick. It's very quick, which is why I love it. But if you um, wanted to do, say, like some eyelashes or an eyebrow or something, I would go with this guy. Okay, go with that. Good to know. Yeah. And I think the best hack is to always be prepared and have all your tools lying out so that easy access, you can just go right in. You've got everything ready for your kids to be entertained. You've got your bowl, all your tools, different types of pens, pencils, etc. And if you guys are just joining, we are doing basic carving 101. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. We will happily answer them. We also want to see your jack-o'-lanterns. So if you have one from this year that you did or last year, we want to see them in the comments below. Post pictures or let us know what you've been carving. Okay, so I've just done a very basic face. Obviously, you can spend a lot more time. And I'm going to show you something about this pumpkin that you'll find sometimes. This is like a super squashy pumpkin. And it happens once in a while where you get like spaghetti. It's almost like a spaghetti squash. Happens once in a while. Yes, it's quite cool. I literally that. carved and, and emptied this one out. It's just sometimes you get those. But got in there with the little scoop. Yeah. Okay, I have one more say to, thing to say about um, carving your pumpkin. When you do your lid, my mom taught me this trick. You do a little notch in the top, so then whenever you put the lid back on, you know exactly where it fits. Oh, that's such a good tip. And you may, if you're like me, you've probably planned where that stem is going to sit, and you always want it to sit in the same spot. There you go. That's an awesome hack because I totally never do that and you're always like, how does yeah. this, it doesn't go back in. Yeah. 
Okay, your and the only other thing I want to say about the pumpkin, when you get your buy your pumpkin, check for like mold spots first. You'll always get that really gnarly bit at the back. When you get it home, wash that gnarly bit as much as you can. I have not washed this one. Um, <clears throat> just because that will help prevent the mold from growing further and it, it tends to like the dirty areas. So it's okay to buy a pumpkin like that because I always oh, see yeah. those and I'm like, uh, well, pumpkins grow on the ground like this, right? And then they, they, a lot of them have flat ends. Sometimes you can use that to your advantage when you're carving and it sits nice and flat. Um, and then at the end, you can also rub it with a little bit of olive oil and that will keep it nice and shiny and a little bit moist. There are other tips that we're gonna go over later. We've put them to the test of how to preserve your pumpkin longer than a day or two. But that's awesome. So a little yeah. bit of olive oil and it'll help preserve your pumpkin. Yeah, makes it nice and shiny. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So now I think it is carving contest time. Aiden, have you drawn all your awesome faces? Let's see This is them. gonna be a challenge, guys. I'm very glad I'm not okay. the one having to do this. We have this lovely smiling pumpkin with quite a nose. You did a good job, Aiden. Whoops. It's totally safe around here. Okay. Oh, this one is excellent. Look at the teeth on this okay. guy. This is great. Oh, and we have a bit of like an asymmetrical face okay. going on here with quite a nose. These are awesome. So great way to okay. entertain the kids while you're carving. And now we're going to bring in our very lucky guests who are going to be carving these pumpkins. So up first is Emily Rivas. Woo! Lucky Rebus. And I'm going to give you the instrument. Yes. Thank we you kept very much. obviously good, good tip. Keep the knives as far away from the kids as possible. Bringing in our second contestant. Look at Aiden, he's dancing away. He's so proud of his work. Okay, our second contestant is our resident dad at today's parent. Please welcome Sanjay! Woo! Awesome. You got your instrument. Sanjay, have you carved pumpkins with your son? Not yet. Not yet, so you better, this is good it's practice. Contest, you know? Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then, bringing in contestant number three, and Aiden's mom, Stephanie! Woo! Poor Aiden's mom. She got the most difficult pumpkin! Oh I don't gosh. know how you're going to do that, Aiden. You really, you gave her quite a challenge. Um, this is going to be interesting. So at 3 p.m., we're going to start carving. Start carving, guys. Oh. Start. Go, go, go. Yeah. Aiden doesn't want to help. He knows it's hard. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. we're going to start carving, and at 3 p.m., we are going to show you the really fantastic pieces of art our team has made. We hope they're going to be fantastic. I'm a little nervous. Um, Sandra's technique is looking a little suspect. Um, <laughs> hopefully there's no blood and gore, because that will not end well. Look at Aiden. He's having a great time. Um, uh, so come back at 3 p.m. You get to vote on your favorite pumpkin, and we're going to be giving away an awesome trophy to the winner. I know, Steph, like Steph wants oh, to win Aiden, that. Aiden, come look at that. We got to get the trophy. There's oh. also, you know, candy to be had, um, but we'll also be back at 1 p.m. to put uh, Pinterest pumpkins to the test. So we're going to be putting Vaseline in pumpkins to see if that preserves it. We are going to be melting crayons, etc. So let's see if those Pinterest hacks actually work. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. We'll be back in a few hours. See you then. Have a spooktacular.